Hey, do you want to start by telling us who you are and how we know each other? Okay, so uh, I'm Miles. Um, I've got a YouTube channel called Melee B. Um, and J- I know James through um, university uh, studying for film and media production. Cool, which, which you did at the college, right? Yeah, uh, I was at the co- staff of college, yeah, through the foundation degree, yeah. Sweet. So, um, do you want, like I know, but well, I know some of it, I think there's, there's many secrets <laughs> to it also, but what, what do you do for a living, Miles? Tell us about it. Um, so, I'm a YouTuber. So I, I, I play games and people watch me play games. I'm also a streamer, so people watch me play games live. Um, and yeah, I guess that's what, how it works. I, I didn't expect it to turn into a job, but that's what it is now. So Yeah, yeah that was, that was going to be my next question, to be honest. How, how do you go from being like a young teenager playing games to, <laughs> to making a career out of it? Um, it's a bit of a difficult one because I wouldn't, I would never say you do it because you want it to be a career. That's more of a, it was, it's always starts a hobby. I feel like it always has to start as a hobby. Otherwise you're doing it for the wrong reasons. Um, but it's definitely like, if you're interested in like, you know, filming and stuff like that, it was, it was always a, like something I wanted to try out. And I obviously started as a hobby. Um, and it just went from there really. Um, and I started making videos that were very, very bad. Um, it wasn't until like 2018 or the end of 2017 when I started my first stream and I just did a live stream. I had like probably like 13,000 subscribers at the time. I just decided to live stream me opening a few FIFA packs and um, we've got loads of viewers in there and then it just became a daily thing and I'll do it every day. Now, I remember when, when we first met and you'd tell me how many subscribers you'd got, but you were quite dismissive <laughs> and I was always quite fond of looking up a football stadium and being yeah. like, dude, you, you, like, what are you on about? You've hardly got any subscribers. Like, you'd sell out Bescott <laughs> and then you'd sell out Villa Park and then, oh, man, you, you, you've got an audience, like, that would fill Wembley. Crazy. Like, yeah, 152,000 now. 152,000, yeah. I think I'm on, so. Or is it? It might be a bit. In fact, I'll look right now. Yeah, 162,000. There you go. I was, I was wrong myself at how many I had. <laughs> yeah, 162,000. So, at what point did you start taking it seriously and think, you know what, this could be a career. I, I could actually make a living from this. It was in my last year of the course at Stafford College. Um, things started developing and I was like, right, okay, this is looking, it's going in the right direction. I uh, started getting more viewership on my streams. Um, my, even my viewers were asking me what were my plans after I'd you know, finished the course. Was I going to go on and get the full degree or was I going to you know, see how things went? And I, I just went for it. I just, so I'd see how things go and still doing it right now. So I guess and it's not how, gone too bad. How many years in are we now as a, as a professional? Um, the, almost one, one year. Yeah. Well, almost one year. So, yeah. Cool. Okay. So um, I know that there'll, there'll only be so much that maybe you're willing to tell us and that's okay. <laughs> like if I, if I ever stop, if I ever step the mark, just, just tell me I'm okay with that. But um, how, how do you make a living? On YouTube, like what? What are some of the things that you've done that's really either helped you, helped boost your subscribers, or has, has helped you? Like, how do you get paid? Like, what's the deal? Okay, so with YouTube, it's more. It's not about how many subscribers you have. It's more about your viewership. It's more about how many views you get on each video. So the way it works is most of the time is you get a certain CPM, which your your CPM is basically per thousand views. So if you owned a website, you'd go off the CPM to say, oh, well, per thousand views, it's $1.50 for an advertisement. And the CPM always changes, but so depending on how many views you get, the more money you earn. Um, but the CPM is the variable that changes depending on how many people put ads onto YouTube. So people advertise to YouTube, YouTube be like, oh, okay, so people are checking out our, our website for your content. Here, have a bit of the money from it. So that's how it works for views. That's how you get money from that wise. There's also where it works on YouTube. If you've got memberships, people can subscribe to you and then also become a member, which then they have to pay so much. But for paying that, they get like so many perks for the channel. Like I do a member only stream once a month where we uh, just chill and uh, get down with the members, have a few drinks and uh, play a few games together, which is quite good. So yeah, that's, I mean, the main income for me is probably memberships from like the community that I've gone online. But views bring in quite a bit as well. And also we've got some sponsors like the, the guys that make these cards, um, they're fee- obviously FIFA cards. These cards aren't in the game. 
But um, they're custom FIFA cards. Um, you can get them, and I've got a, like a referral scheme with them and stuff. So uh, they pay me so much a month. So yeah, it's. I'd, I'd say there's more money in the side of getting your getting like you know referrals programs and brand deals, but there is st- still money in views, of course. Okay. Um, when when you were when you were a student with me, I remember you saying about signing professional contracts, but you weren't. Yeah really telling me much and again if you don't want to talk about it that's fine but no no i mean that's another thing like with the youtube streaming world it's a bit it's a bit of a strange one like there's a few new companies cropping up here and there that you know they want a, a certain streamer to stream on their platform so um for example you've got that I, I don't know who's going to be watching this but you've got the likes of ninja ninja is a massive streamer like 100 times the level of me um he got signed to mixer which apparently it's worth like over a hundred million um in in value just just for him to stream exclusively to that 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 uh, platform so there's a there's an incredible amount of, money, amount of money in it if you get to the right level but yeah so i signed a deal with d live um unfortunately i'm not over there anymore but that like i said that was a nice substantial amount as well just okay. just to stream on their platform so so how do you level up how do you level up yeah in you, terms you of said that, you said that this guy ninja's like wait like ten times above the level that you're at. Uh yeah, I mean I guess it's just about getting on the right trend. For example, Ninja started started playing Fortnite. And this is when Fortnite was like the it was it was brand new. Like the game was brand new. Then Fortnite just absolutely exploded. Of course, because he was in there first. He had his first he had his foot in the door before the game even started taking off. He was known as the Fortnite guy. So as the game grew he grew massively as well. So, so, so kind of about taking taking a risk or taking a chance. And oh stuff. yeah, definitely. It's it's a lot about luck. Hundred percent. There's a lot of luck involved. Nice. Um, if if you had like a young fourteen year old saying to you, "Hey, Miles, man, I really want to, I really want to be a, a pro YouTuber like you. What? How? How do I do it? Have you got any top tips? What would be the main thing you'd you'd recommend? I'd I'd say make sure you're playing or streaming a game you enjoy first first things first you've got to have fun with what you're doing um i'd maybe say experiment with different like video styles or streaming styles you might find there's like sorry i got distracted by the cat <laughs> <laughs> you nice might find spot. like <laughs> it's nice of the cat to turn up in the stream <laughs> <laughs> you might find um there's a certain video style or you know brushing up your editing skills you might find you know you might find a, a different style that you like or some of the works better than usual. Same with streaming, really. Like, there's different kind of streams you can do with face cam or no face cam. Um, you're, you're, you're basically just experiment, is basically what I'm saying. I'd probably say that's a, the best advice I can give. Um, don't expect results overnight, but if you're persistent enough, I don't see why it can happen. Even if, don't, like, one thing that happened to me, right, so, I, so many people told me, uh, I don't know why you're a FIFA YouTuber. I don't know why you're a FIFA streamer. You're, it's just to, it's too saturated. You ain't gonna make it. You ain't get over a hundred thousand subscribers. And like that, that kind of just drive like drives me to to want to do it. You know what I mean? So I, I, I mean, I proved them wrong, but that's basically it. You just gotta go for it. It's never too saturated. Brilliant. That's basically what I'm saying. Golden advice as well. Um, what's next for you? Is it does does this keep on does this keep on going? And you keep riding it, or are you sort of dabbling um, in other areas? I mean, I'm experimenting in other in other areas. I think um, a good thing about FIFA is obviously the, it's a yearly release, so every year you've always got hype for the new game, um, which is always a plus. But uh, I've I've started streaming on Twitch as well, which is like another platform aside from YouTube. Uh, I stream like Call of Duty over there now, um, and that's for a bit more of like a mature audience because obviously. As people subscribe, they're not going to stay 14 forever. So you've got to try and think, well, where am I going to go now? Because they're getting older. I'm still producing the same con- content. I need to, you know, kind of grow with them, more, more to say. So that's what I'm doing now, I think. As far as anything else, I'm not too sure. But just trying different things out and see how it goes once again. Brilliant. Well, I wish you the best of luck, Miles. Thank you very much for, for dropping in. No for problem. All today.